Hello book friends! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelly if you're new to this channel. Um, today's video is kind of, I'm playing a little bit of a catch up, updating, and what I plan to read in um, October, which I can't believe we're here already. Um, so I haven't posted anything in like two-ish weeks. I have recorded, but I haven't been happy with anything that I've recorded enough to share. Um, I feel like kind of stuck in a rut in my reading and just life in general. So we're going to try to end this year in a positive aspect, note, whatever you want to say. Um, work also has been kind of the, but I haven't really read too much in September. I want to say seven or eight books. Today is like the 22nd or 23rd, which for me is a little bit on the lower end, but sometimes we have these months where reading just isn't hitting. Reading hasn't been hitting since July, but anyways, um, I had decided to take a break from my book clubs um, in September, so... I hadn't announced any, and I was going to announce for the rest of the year, but I decided officially today, like moments before starting this recording, that I am going to take the rest of the year off from my book clubs and start in January fresh, because I have a lot of things that I want to do that I've had in the works. And I just don't have the time. I want to finish, wrap those things up, and then start fresh with the book clubs. Are they going to be the same book clubs? I'm still kind of playing around with it. Um, I really am considering just making one book club, getting rid of one, rebranding essentially, but... Again, this I'll probably announce it like mid December so that we can start fresh in January. So there's that. Okay, moving on to my October TBR. I don't have anything officially like written down. I'm kind of playing it by ear. I do have like books that I put on my TBR for September that I know I'm not going to get to. Like the books that my kids picked out, we have Scarecrow by Richie Tankersley Cusick. This will be perfect for sub uh, October. Um, it looks like just an evil Scarecrow. We have a Sweet Valley High, The Arrest. I never read any Sweet Valley High, but it looks like we're going to start on a high right here. Um, and then The Library of Auschwitz. My oldest daughter chose, based on a true story of an Auschwitz prisoner. Um, I believe this is YA historical fiction. It's obviously going to be heavy considering the material, uh, the source material. So that I plan to do a whole video for the, the books the kids picked out. Um, this I had planned to do for Garb August, which was another shitty reading month, but we're going to try for October to do this. I have four of my lowest rated owned books, so I guess you could consider them garbage. So, um, just to, to throw out, there's four of them, um, but apparently the Dr. Zeman's didn't do too hot. It didn't rate her highly. So this is one of the books. Um, I don't want to give away the rest because I haven't officially announced that like I did the other with the kids. Um, what else did I have? I had this on a TBR previously, Don't Tell Mommy. This is a paperbacks from hell type book. So the cover is amazing, but I don't really know what it's about. I want to say like the baby is some kind of alien almost I don't know but this may get read I also have 
All of these are Christopher Pike. I just messaged Alex the Bookie Miss after watching her TBR that she just posted today. And I'm hoping that she's interested in um, body reading the weekend because I know she planned to read it. Um, well, it's weekend. No, the weekend. Her cover looked a little bit different, um, but it is the same book. So I'm waiting to hear back. She's usually like really on board. No pressure though. So, and this is about a trip to Mexico that sounded like a dream vacation and then people start getting killed. That could go either way. I've had kind of bad luck with Christopher Pike, so we'll see how that goes. But, and maybe this Cat's Magic by Whitley Schreiber, my beautiful edition from uh, Thrift Books, this might actually be just on the plastic. This was an old library book. I haven't tried to take the plastic off, but I'm hoping maybe this is like a sticker and it almost, it kind of looks like it. So guess what guys, I'm going to take this plastic off and make it look brand new. Um, I think this is magical as the title would imply, but I... I'm excited to get to it because it's got a cat on the cover, so it'll be perfect for cats on the cover. I am trying to make my way through these physical books. I get easily distracted by the library and the new coming, you know, new releases, and I get myself really overwhelmed, and I think that may be what has been my problem recently. Um... I'm just not been impressed by anything. I've also been sick. We're going on three weeks now. So kind of out of breath. But what are you reading for October? I feel really out of the loop in terms of what's going on for events. I'm going to try to get myself back into the swing of things, which is what I was supposed to do for September, but it didn't happen. So let me know what you're reading. If you want to buddy read anything that I have mentioned, please message me. It helps me push through these books, push to get to them. And uh, that's all I got. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!